Ooh, I can almost do the eyebrow look. Hey everyone, it is December 16th today. It is Wednesday and it is my two week post-op anniversary. What's been going on is I'm still on the pureed stage of food. I don't like anything about puree. I can't wait to go to soft food, strike that. I can't wait to go to regular food. I'm, I'm just sick of, of it, I don't know. I've been resorting back to protein shakes a lot, which is adding up to be really expensive uh, when you use Shakeology, it's $129 for a bag of 30 servings. And if I'm getting three servings of Shakeology in a day, that's only 10 days worth. It's getting a little pricey. Well, thankfully, I've been getting enough protein thanks to the Shakeology. I've been getting at least 60, sometimes 70 or 75 grams a day. And my water intake has been pretty good. It's usually about eight cups at minimum seven. I don't think I've gone below seven yet. I don't know if there's anything soft that I'm not already doing now. Just, I've been chewing a lot more. But uh, come 1st of January, I will be on solids, and I'm super excited. Can't tell. Um, I have a lot of good ideas on Pinterest that I can't wait to try out. A lot of good alternatives, especially cauliflower crust for pizza. I'm looking forward to trying that. The worst thing I did was I, I confess, I've looked at Cheeto. I looked at Dorito last night, and it was fabulous. I chewed up some peanut brittle and I spit it out. Couldn't help it. But those are the worst things I've done. Uh, I don't think I've really swallowed any foods that I shouldn't have. Uh, eat, eat, eat. Cheese burger pureed. Okay, so when you have this craving, right, and you're on pureed foods, you think maybe I can just cook it and just puree it and all the flavors will melt together and it'll taste awesome just like a cheeseburger. So I browned some beef or I simmered it in beef stock with some seasonings and Worcestershire sauce with Liam Perrins and uh, some reconstituted onion. I cooked it with a little bit of ketchup and mustard and then I added a little bit of sprinkled cheese after. And it tasted okay at first but then uh, when it was pureed, it was not so good. So I don't recommend trying to recreate everything um, unless you have like a really good recipe for it because pureed ground beef with all like the cheeseburger flavors, like, oh yeah, I had a pickle at the end of cooking it. No, it was horrible. I almost threw up just trying to clean out the, the food processor after I ate. So... No, 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 no. I, no, don't do that. Bad idea. Hard pass. Hard pass. I did recreate tacos. I used ground beef, uh, the lean ground beef, 93% lean, and I simmered it with water and mild taco seasoning. Normally we'd go for hot, but I'm not ready for spicy yet. So uh, mild taco seasoning, brown the beef, add a little, you know, with water, after the beef was cooked, we just minced it down real, real little, 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 tiny, tiny little pieces. Technically, it's a soft food, not a pureed food, but I'm not pureeing anything after that cheeseburger. So heat up some refried beans, excellent source of protein if you can stand refried beans. Have a tablespoon of ground beef, tablespoon of refried beans, a tablespoon of low-fat sour cream, a tablespoon of guacamole, a tablespoon of the Kraft shredded Mexican cheese blend, and one tablespoon of salsa. And it was pretty good. I ate the proteins first, the ground beef and then the bean. I thought guacamole had protein in it, but I didn't look at the label. So it's really important that you look at your nutritional labels because uh, it doesn't have any protein, but it was still good. Healthy fat, delicious if you like guaca. And uh, it would have been better if I mixed it all together in the bowl. Instead, I just ate the little components. So it wasn't as fulfilling as eating a taco, and I didn't have that crunch of any kind of shell. No shell at all, just the fillings. No tomatoes except for the salsa. And uh, my body tolerated it pretty well. Yay! It gave me that satisfaction of the craving of tacos. And then the next day for lunch, I just reheated some meat and the beans and some of the cheese because those three are the ones that had the highest protein um, for the amount. You can always make substitutes like that. The Tarani sugar-free syrup. So as you can see over here on the wine, beer, liquor rack, I have the whole top row of Tarani sugar-free syrups. I have the variety pack and the variety holiday pack, all sugar-free. Now I've tried the caramel and I've tried the peppermint with the chocolate Shakeology for protein. I feel that they taste really chemical right now. I don't know if maybe it's just oversensitivity of my taste buds or if I'm just not feeling the syrup. Uh, 
uh, maybe I'll try it in some other foods or maybe with a different flavor of shake. Maybe vanilla would be better with the caramel, but it's really on your, your own personal preference. It, it does help give you more options if you're stuck on protein shakes. Head hunger. Head hunger is a bitch, I gotta tell you. But I'm really fighting it. Uh, I haven't done too bad in the last two weeks. Yesterday I took out one serving of Pirate's Booty, which is that little puffed corn and rice snacks that are almost like cheese puffs. It's a product of Trader Joe's. It's quite tasty. It fixes my salty craving. But 28 grams is a whole bowl of it. And it's not technically a soft food, even though you can chew, 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 kind of make it a puree. Uh, I'm not ready to to really go down that road. So even though I poured myself a bowl last night, thankfully my hubby was real cool and said, you know, you don't really need that. And so I, I took three little pieces and I ate those and I dumped the bowl back into the bag and I put the bag away again. So I have did better than I have in the past. I've definitely fought the craving for peanut brittle. Peanut brittle is just the, the enemy right now, especially with, with it being Christmas. Peanut brittle can't even look at it. I, I keep thinking about it. I keep thinking about how I can just make it with Splenda and all will be just glorious. But uh, yeah, still soft foods, peanut brittle, not really in the same category. So that's going to have to wait. I was thinking about Edmund's cookery book from New Zealand and the fudge. Same thing. I could try and make it with Splenda, but I'm trying to fight it because I think I'll just end up eating the whole pan like I used to and we don't want to do that. My incisions are healing quite well. Yesterday I had the dressing taken off of the outside of the incision, so now they're just taped up still, except for that little persistent incision over here on my left side, which looks like, yep, left, it looks like my right, is this a mirror image? Where the drainage port was, it's closing more than it was before. Uh, I had taught myself yesterday, don't use peroxide to flush out your incision does kill the bad bacteria, but it also kills good cells too, which promote healing and less scarring. So I have turned to just using Neosporin or some other antibacterial ointment on it. And just keep it covered, keep it moist is what the doctor said, moist and clean. And uh, hopefully that'll be looking better next week. I have pics in the blog. I just don't want to stand up and show you my belly here on the video today. I said, still looking kind of tired. I don't know if it's iron or, or lack of sleep or I feel like I've been sleeping pretty well. Uh, my strength has been doing all right, maybe 75%. I can do a couple things around the house and not feel too tired. Um, I had some NSBs over the last week or so. This shirt is fitting a lot more loosely than it used to. My sweatpants are fitting loosely. If I put my cell phone in my pocket, my pants just kind of start going down so uh, I don't have a drawstring in these anymore um, and you don't really wear a belt with sweatpants uh, it's not really a fashion statement yet so I won't be doing that anytime soon we've been having really great support in our online uh, Facebook December group for surgery so these ladies are awesome they are really fun to talk to I really enjoy help and motivate them and I really get a lot of motivation from them too so my current weight is to 11.8, which is 96.1 kilograms for my metric friends. Uh, that's down a total of 26 pounds from my highest weight of 238. A little bit of a slow movement from my surgery of 220 pounds on the 2nd of December, but you know I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm not going to stress over it. I know that it'll pick back up when we become more physically active when I'm clear for exercise. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm highly motivated right now, and I want to tap into that motivation. I am done with those damn blood thinners. I can't tell you how excited I am to not have to take those every morning. So that's really an exciting thing. I would call that an NSB. Looking for recipes, fighting a lot of head hunger, and being pretty damn successful. So it's been pretty good. I'm happy. That's how I feel about food right now. So if you guys have any really cool ideas, just pop them on Pinterest. Um, let me know who you are so I can follow you. Uh, I'm pinterest.com slash kirstycurst81, and I'll put that information in the comments of this video. So it'd be cool to connect and uh, give me some ideas so I can steal yours. Uh, if you're interested, probably not, but that's cool. Go check it out. <coughs> I really don't know what else to tell you. That's kind of all that's been going on. Boring stuff, same stuff every day. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Stay motivated.